Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your shares, your confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show this planet, and overall, just you being you, okay? Please do never regret your walk. All right, as long as you're trying to do the right thing, that makes you a cut above the rest. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. I do appreciate all of you, the donations, the confirmations, the tears. I cry, you cry, we cry together type shit, uh, right? So, uh, yeah, I just want to let you know. I see y'all, you okay? Um, let's, let's say this. The good outweighs the bad. We're going to go ahead and move on into this reading. We got caution. All right. So somebody was warned here. All right. This is somebody that practices divination, of course, as we can see it. All right. They could possibly have a Ouija board, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be any form of, div uh, of divination here. All right, so this person was warned, and it looked like it's about to move on over there, scoot on over there to a no. It's a no for me, dog, all right? So, <clears throat> yeah, somebody was warned not to impede, okay, not to overstep your boundaries. Now, this is someone that, you know, is a stalker. Uh, they obviously have your birth chart or something like that. All right. I'm here in social media, you know, social media stalkers, a lot of people uh, that resonate with these uh, readings that I do will find that a lot of their issues came when they hit social media. I mean, it's just, I mean, you know, some of us, we had issues before. We just didn't know it. Okay. But when we made ourselves open to the public, all right. It, um, it changed a few things, okay? I'm also hearing going viral. You could have possibly went viral and you attracted a lot of attention, all right? This is a oracle card. You could be an oracle wisdom keeper. You could just be a regular person. You don't have to have no divination because trust and believe I was sitting in your shoes once upon a time watching, trying to figure out what the hell was going on, all right? It's called the Great Awakening, all right? So I'm hearing your vibe attracts your tribe, and yes, indeed, that is true. But first of all, you have to put yourself in a position where you can recognize, recognize your tribe, all right? I keep hearing latchkey kid, all right? So uh, Saturn return age, all right? This is about paying dues, okay? It's, it's judgment. It happens every 29 years. You could be 50. You could be 29. You could be 23. It doesn't matter. It's a cycle. Okay. It depends on when you are born. Somebody definitely tried to tap into your destiny. Okay. You could have given this person your birth, your, um, your, your birth information, which I advise against. Okay. Um, some of you may practice uh, feng shui. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, somebody knew your fortune and tried to uh, impede in your destiny here. Look, we got I change, change. Okay, so some of you, you are going through a rapid change, right? So there's a decision coming forward. Or maybe someone had, um, I mean, going forward. Or maybe somebody had a choice to make uh, regarding you. Let's see what happens. Either show me what it is I need to see. We got solar eclipse, okay? So um, those of you that may have experienced uh, a heart attack or something like that, or maybe you've seen something that just threw you off guard. You didn't understand what, why something was happening, okay? For some of you, this is happening to people around you, all right? I'm here and pay attention to the signs of the times. We have 43, 43, 44 is talking about a cycles here, okay? Uh, it's about definitely a revolution, and I'm hearing rebellion as well. Let's, let's get, oh, yeah. So somebody, you know, they thought they had the knowledge, but they didn't. Okay, you could be a Sagittarius, or a Sagittarius could be somebody that you're dealing with. We have, what is this, precision, okay? So, they didn't have the knowledge, okay? That's just period, point blank. They didn't have the knowledge that they, they thought that they had. At the bottom of the deck, what's here? 
Capricorn. Oh, child, you know. All right, this is no shocker to me. Somebody's dealing with somebody that's on the cusp of Sagittarius or Capricorn, or these could be two individual people, okay? But what I'm getting is greed, all right? Somebody could have played the lotto, and, and I mean, it, and, and not one, all right? That may resonate with somebody. But it's like, this is somebody that's off sync now. They're off sync because they didn't tapped into somebody's energy that they shouldn't. So where there was luck once before, there is no luck. Okay. So this is somebody that's casting spells. It could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Or like I said, somebody that's on the cuffs. 22 is giving me, they try to create a storyline. Okay. All right, so a part of this a great awakening for you was for you to know that you create your own reality, all right? The structure, the foundation. Aquar Aquarius, look at this. These are the same key players. Somebody could be on the cusp of Saturn, I'm Saturn, of Capri Capri <laughs> Capricorn and Aquarius. Somebody can't formulate their words. They can't get their words together. These energies have been... Um, on this channel for a very long time, so I know that it's somebody that's watching me. All right, so this is somebody that refused to change here. This is somebody that leans on people for finances. They lean on people to do everything. Okay, so here we have a Libra. This could represent an empress, okay? It could represent a child's mother, okay? I feel like somebody was in shock. I do hear that somebody may have had like a, a stroke or a heart attack with the perception here. Their perception was off. This may have been somebody that was doing some spell work um, on a high priestess. Okay, on this channel, the high priestess is the empress. All right, this is somebody that's um, profoundly gifted. All right, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are into tarot or occult, but whatever it is, it's a part of your life purpose with North Node being there, okay? So keep that in mind. This person was cautioned in the past. For some of you, you you felt something about this person and you, you know, it's a no for me, dog. So you may have uh, dismissed someone. You didn't want to deal with somebody, all right? They could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Sagittarius. But what this is giving me uh, in this sequence is somebody that was like in a Knight of Wands type of energy, okay? Whether they're older or, or, or younger, it, it doesn't matter. This is somebody that comes real fast and leaves real fast, okay? This is somebody that, you know, is materialistic. They're flamboyant. They spend all their money on them on, on themselves. And I'm not saying that that's how all Sagittarius is, but when we're talking about low vibration, all right, this person thought they had all the facts about you. They speculated is what I'm getting. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. King of Pentacles. So this person, yeah, look at this. Come through with the come through. We got that night energy, all right? Why is caution here? Taking out the trash, baby. Let's take out the trash, all 2022. I'm hearing don't let the smooth taste fool ya. So yeah, they was playing in your face with the fool card here, all right? Pretending to be something that they're not. This person could be acting religious at this point, okay? Somebody could be going to a religious ceremony like a wedding is what I'm getting. Somebody that definitely needs an exorcism because we got the priest and the exorcist here. This person placed obstacles between you and someone that you love. All right. This is somebody that wanted to control the outcome, control your, if you look at this engineer, this person is receiving some sort of uh, delusion. They're under some sort of state of panic is what I'm getting. Okay. This person could have actually had a heart attack. We got Midas and Miser. So it says hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing wealth. So yeah, this is somebody that's only cared, that only cares about themselves is what I'm getting. All right. So you're dealing with a selfish person. This person may like to travel a lot with Sagittarius being here. No, there's no secret. Okay. Sagittarius are the sign that like to travel. They like to explore. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. But what I'm getting is this person's luck ran out. Sagittarius um, <clears throat> is ruled by Jupiter, okay? What I'm getting is they didn't know the ledge. They didn't have the knowledge that they needed, that they thought they have, okay? So this may, may have been somebody that was used to getting what they want until they encountered you. Look at this. <clears throat> Someone gets redirected, 
adjustments is needed <laughs> be flexible you will be tested okay so yeah this person got redirected if they try to pull uh, like pull cards on you or some have some sort of energy work it was rejected why is caution here you could have had a child with this person okay you could also be like a natural uh, i'm hearing a lot a natural clairvoyant so we have divine life purpose, soul mission, don't take love for granted, okay? Somebody could have lost a child, all right? Somebody may have, um, yeah, somebody lost a child. What I'm getting is this person did some sort of spell work, okay? And that spell work uh, backfired, okay? Uh, with, with the under the effects of spell work, mind control, skin jacker, humanoid, okay? This person uh, may have a secret addiction here. All right. Somebody else could have or been attached to a woman that was using drugs. OK. And they lost a child. So here we have strange encounter. Nine one one. The Pentagon hallucination. Yeah. So this person was tapped in uh, to the spirit realm without clearing karma, obviously. But what I'm also getting is this is somebody that stalked and watched you. They could have won a child with you or with this person. All right. So somebody was put under some sort of spell work. We have a circle of protection, a barrier that contains spells and rituals. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. All right. So this is somebody that, again, pretended to be religious or, uh, yeah, they hid the fact that they were into the occult here. All right. Somebody could actually try to set their own child up to be taken out a feeling of contempt and unworthy yeah this is somebody that's not spiritually worthy at least not in the divine's eyes so they're losing all their fortune here this person can't sleep all right if they have a counterpart they're hiding a lot uh regarding this counterpart so we have spiritual growth enlightenment 333 three. Fear, anxiety, misled plans, wrong turn. Something needs your attention, okay? So this person can't focus. Somebody was definitely using a 369 manifestation method and it didn't work. And I'm going to tell everyone again, you want to start messing with the uh, the ethers. You want to start messing with spell work, but you don't want to clear your karma. You're opening yourself up for demonic attacks with 333 being here specifically for me that is a sign that tells me that somebody's not appreciative of what they had this is somebody that is greedy okay they want this that that and the third they want it all brand new socks and cars and drawers they want it all but they don't want to give anything back okay especially if this is somebody that you have children with all right why is spiritual growth, enlightenment here? What was enlightened to this Sagittarius or about this Sagittarius? This, something could happen in Sagittarius season. Okay, so they didn't know that you were Earth Angel. All right, we got the dominions, the Karuthos, the lordships that regulate the deities of the lower angels. So they actually attack someone that has authority and dominion to return all them demons back to them. They didn't know. Okay, we got the powers that be, mercy, forgiveness, virtues that come from the creator and will lead you back to the creator. So, yeah, this person is of, of, of the dark. They're a child of APAP, and that's just how they they um, they maneuver. I'm hearing speculation. This person could have uh, said that you were into darkness. Okay, yeah, we have somebody. Somebody needs... Um, an estate lawyer or something like that, or this person was involved. Um, what I'm hearing is there's some sort of will. Okay. So it says capable of becoming more than you realize. All right. So I feel like you went to your ancestors here in the, in the, in the background, you could have slept with this person. Okay. Cause this is my spinal tap card. When you sleep with demonic people, people that have a lot of karma attached to them, you start getting body aches and ailments. Some of you, you may have had these body aches and ailments for a very long time. And once you stop having sex with this person, you start, it started clearing up. But what I'm getting in, this person played in so much dark energy for so long, they became delusional. Okay. They started believing that your energy was theirs. Okay. It says careful and cautious, loyal, balanced, and I identity. And you see that little, that little, uh, scorpion getting ready to, to, to tap that back. So this person was doing some sort of spinal tap magic on you. Okay. They could have been trying to make you deformed is what I'm getting. Sending illness, illnesses to you. 
Anything else about the star we need to know? There you go. Someone gets redirected. So they did something in the past, uh, waxing Gibeah's moon, okay, that caused some sort of hardship on them. All right. So I feel like this person wanted you to chase them for some of you. Okay. Why is precision here in a reverse? Yeah, they want, they, they cause a, a tower moment. All right. So whatever they did, they could have wished death on you. Okay. It says desires of the flesh. The flesh wars against spirit. Galatians 5, 12, New King James uh, version and succumbing, succumbing to weaknesses, succumbing to false gods. False gods could be money, alcohol, drugs, cars, or whatever. It doesn't necessarily have to be something demonic, but yes, indeed, this person is demonic. Okay. So it says my past doesn't def define my future, overcoming adversity. So these person, these these people threw a lot of um, adversity towards you. This is a lot of energy coming towards one person. Okay. They can't figure out how you are able to heal yourself. How, how these um, energies are not affecting you. It's because you're an actual earth angel. This is somebody that doesn't believe in angels, but they are very much a demon, right? All right. So it's like, they want to challenge you. They want to make you look like something that you're not with the catfish here. OK, so this person is really jealous because they wanted you to chase them. OK, they wanted you to need them. This person did some sort of uh, rituals on your finances, on your love life and on your health. OK, they could have formulated with two or more people to make this happen. What I'm hearing is they pay people. This is somebody that pays individuals to do things. When you talk to this person, they're very harsh, okay? Uh, I wouldn't even talk to this person because they they do some form of a word witchery here with engineer. They could have also said that you were a drug addict or that you were crazy. And here we have do no harm but take no shit. All right, so they didn't know you were a star, and stars can't shine without darkness. All right, so we have child magical, so you are a healer. Do no harm, but take no shit. And please, as you know, I'm just going to remind people, because people be having selective memory. I didn't have these cars. I've been working on these cars for years. Don't, don't, you know, start talking about I'm taking your shit, okay? Especially after you've been watching me, and then you decide you want to get a, a deck and sell decks and shit that is not going to sell because I keep telling people my work is protected. If you're watching me and trying to get ideas, that's the wrong thing to do. I can be an inspiration. I can be amused for, me, for you, but, t but t let me tell you, people that have done that, that have cursed themselves, all right? You be you and I'm going to be me. Do harm, do no harm, but take no shit. So you're protected. You may have a connection with the fairies here. Okay, you're a butterfly. You were in a cocoon at one point. So why these people were doing these spells and rituals thinking that they were affecting you, they were really helping you grow, really helping you succeed. All right, so I do feel like you have a child with this person. This person could be married because we got the thug wife, baby. All right, somebody is... Uh, <laughs> You be dealing with this, the Scorpio. I, I'm hearing Skeletor. You know they they the villain. You know, in the movie here, this person is down for whatever, and the person that they're dealing with is down for whatever too. Okay. What I'm also hearing is this person has a wife, but they have somebody that they possibly sleep with. They have uh, uh they like they like booty. I don't take it how I resonate. They like people's booty. I don't, it could, that booty could be attached to a male or a female. It doesn't matter with the catfish here. All right. So it says uh, codependent will leave when times get hard. A fair weather friend and a setup. So I feel like they may have gotten themselves involved with a prostitute. Okay. And this prostitute set them up here. And that was this person's uh, karma. Midas and miser. Yeah. Somebody can't sleep because their finances is being affected. We got goddess. This is the empress card. Okay. Loved and respected. Powerful spirit. Idealized. Darling, you are a work of art. If you are a male, you are a work of art. So you was in some sort of uh, transition here. All right. Didn't know where to go. Kind of stressed a little bit. All right. So you had to connect back with your inner self with let your faith be bigger than your fear. Untapped potential. So, you know, unfortunately, it took these people to send these demons towards you for you to tap in to your power. All right. Never be afraid to send that energy back. There's, nothing is going to happen to you if you indeed 
okay, um, or somebody that is of honor, whether if you're a male or a female, if you're operating out of faith and you know that you haven't did anything wrong to anybody, go ahead and send that energy back, all right? So we have apocalyptic, a warning. Now, <laughs> I don't know, did somebody get hit with a meteor, okay, all right, I don't know, lightning strikes, okay, you could be somewhere where... Indeed, a meteor may have hit or some sort of lightning. But what, what I'm getting is somebody had a heart attack, okay? So it says stress, repressed feelings, dark side. Okay, so this person was warned. You were dealing with somebody uh, that may have uh, been doing some sort of drugs. They could have had a heart attack. All right, It, it was a point where a walking spirit uh, came into this person's body. It says soul transformation or exchange. Yeah. This person may have um, did so much spell work on you. This person, is, I'm here, blind, crippled, and crazy. What an interesting combination. Look at this. So, this person is always in their head. They can't sleep. They're up at night, okay? This person has to keep busy because when they close their eyes, they get hit with all that demonic energy, all them demons that they conjured up. For uh, some of you, you could be a reader. They may watch you. All right. And you just trigger this person. Why they watch you? I have no idea. Some shit I just don't understand. Look at this. So this person keeps, they, they can't sleep because they, you know, what I'm hearing is they try to spiritually attack their own child. All right. Some of you, you are pregnant. This is interesting. Okay. So you're being guided to not stress and I've been um, wanting to talk about womb care for those of you that do not have children it's so very important to clear that karma all right get in there get your yoni eggs the black ones preferably and get all that energy of past people out before you you start having children all right if you have children and you want to have more children do that all right just to ensure that you don't pass on no stress stressful energy to that child that uh you are creating okay if you have somebody like this all right somebody that really don't care uh, about your health about the health of a child it's very important for you to disconnect from that person all right i, I don't care what you because they're not in their heart space okay so i do believe this person had a heart attack i'm just gonna tell you know I'm getting that this person was warned, okay, and they could have had, something could be going wrong with this person's brain. They could be doing some, like, poking holes in a doll or something. This is something that's done at night, okay? So if this person was doing this last night or any night before, they were warned here. Somebody, I keep hearing a heart attack. So you're dealing with a sociopath, somebody that lacks remorse, guilt, and empathy, Okay, this person is emotionless. They're very shallow. They're a liar, aggressive and reckless. And this person is not against breaking laws, whether they're spiritual or physical laws. Okay, you try to give love to this person, but they don't understand love. All right, they only out for money, whether if it's a male or a female. They're a thrill seeker, that night energy. We have your feelings are valid. Ye are be yeeted, persistent man. So some of you, this is a woman that is going after your finances, somebody you have a child with. And for others of you, this is a male that you have a child with, an absent father. This person could have been married, whether if you knew it or not, okay? Somebody was warned here. This couple was warned. Look, they got a message. They got a message. Somebody's upset because you know that they are bisexual. Look at this. Look at this. This person lacks facts, okay? Or whoever they're working with, they don't know the fact that they're dealing with somebody that is into men, okay? Especially if they're married. This person was energy harvesting. You see that? So it says, how does it apply to you? Regurgitating info obtained by you or someone else without truly understanding what it means. So this is somebody that takes on somebody's energy, okay? If you're a tarot reader, this is somebody that'll go on their platform and start talking like you talk but don't really understand. And then the flip side is they'll come and say, you did this, you did that, but they don't even understand what the hell they're talking about, 
Okay, for instance, this will be somebody that may claim to be religious, but then they start talking about the ox, okay, and they start saying your heart must be as light as a feather when, nah, nah, you ain't went through that part of ascension. And a lot of times when you start tapping into these uh, different energies, what they'll do is they'll start spooking your ass. Okay, if you don't, if you, if you don't have the knowledge, the knowledge of self, you should just stick, you know, to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Why is messenger here? So somebody's trying to figure out a way to message you, okay, or, you know, for some of you, a way to kill you, okay? You're dealing with somebody that's a racist, a bigot, or they're not healed. This is somebody that you may have past life karma with. This person is on a downward spiral. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> somebody's gay lover could be trying to message you okay child i don't know who this is but somebody definitely had a gay lover and somebody's pregnant because we got the empress card and then we have don't stress okay this is don't stress the baby Okay, so some of you, you lost a child from stress already. My condolences to you. Some of you, you have a child that's in the child. I hope this ain't from the same people. Because, baby, whoever this is, they in that night energy. So they probably got a lot of children. So this person has stress. They're stress. They have repressed feelings. They operate out of the darkness only. All right. Black moon is an indication of the void here. All right, solar eclipse type of energy, revolution. All right, this person wanted to uh, make you seem like something that you're not. This is why they, they do work on your intellect here. All right. So we got birth and what's hidden. <laughs> and your child is watching you. Your child is watching you. Interesting. So I feel like somebody has a child that knows that their parent, their father is gay. Okay. That, yeah. Because I done started shaking. <sighs> or you could have a child here by somebody that's actually a part of the LGBTQIA community. All right. This child could have been with gang stalking in reverse. This is, you know, just telling me that if you have a platform and maybe you at odds with your child, they're watching. All right. But somebody could have wished death on their own child. And for some of you, your own children may have wished death on you because it says the sheep gets sacrificed and ability to stand in your truth. And what I tell you. We got the, when I look at your media, I get new ideas. I use those ideas on another platform. I do this to cause confusion. Facebook, IG, Twitter, they lie and they slander you, okay? Because this is about legacy with estate being here. They, these people are upset that uh, you got a gift that they didn't have, or you're getting some sort of praise and knowledge that they're not getting after trying to defame your character. And, and I'm going to say this before I cut up out of here. It doesn't matter who you portal through or who portal through us, all right? If you're a spiritual person, if you're in deep like me, you know, okay, that there's trapped souls, and a lot of times we give birth to karmics, okay? Past life lovers, past life mothers, fathers, they come back through us so we can learn lessons and we can teach lessons. And I want y'all to remember that. Do not be ashamed of who you are and what you've been through. All right. These people will be out your life momentarily. I'll tell you later.